What is good with it, YouTube? Fight fans all over the world, it's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir, I said it. Real Talk Boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again. Castillo Clayton versus Jerron Boots Ennis. And we have Jermail Charlo versus Brian Castaño. Tonight, showtime. I want to talk about these two fights. First of all, um, Boots, Boots, that's my dude, man. Boots is slicker than snot, cleaner than Clorox. This dude can move, he can box, he can bang, he can hurt you with either hand. Movement, footwork is stupid. But I have to say that his team, his, his, his management is moving him along very strategically and kind of slow in my opinion. But just because I think he's getting moved slow doesn't mean they're moving him in the right way. Because I would much rather see him with better competition than this Clayton guy. I don't know this Clayton guy. I've never heard of him. I, you know, apparently he's a former Olympian. He's undefeated. Um, he looks really, really muscular and strong. I watched some highlights of him. And I'm going to be honest with you. Unless he's coming with something that I don't know about, I think that this fight is going to be relatively easy for Boots Ennis. Now, you got to understand when you have a man standing in front of you, we can make it look easy, but no fight's easy. You actually have to get in there, throw your hands, use your brain, and connect, and follow up, and stick to your game plan, which is what Boots, I believe, is going to do. I honestly don't know or think that this Clayton guy has anything to bring to the table, but it is boxing. I could be wrong, but as far as the highlights and the handful of fights I've seen with this Clayton guy, he just doesn't, he, he, he can't hold a candle to, to Boots in his skill set. But styles make fights, you know what I'm saying? And Boots really hasn't fought high, high level of competition right now. He's being moved along slowly and strategically, like I said. I'd much rather see him in there with a, with a Virgil Ortiz. I'd much rather see him in there with a Danny Garcia, because Danny Garcia is very flat-footed, and I think Jerron could definitely beat him, outpoint him. I don't know if he will knock uh, Danny Garcia out or stop him, but I could definitely see him outclassing Danny Garcia. And if not, those two... Uh, Keith Thurman, one time, or once upon a time. He's not the same guy he used to be, but, you know, Keith kind of, I don't know, man. Keith, Keith's trying to be relevant when he's not relevant anymore, but I would love to see him step up and fight those type of fighters to solidify that he's very dangerous. Now, this is a title eliminator, a uh, no, an IBF title eliminator, right? The person who wins this fight is number one, for Earl Spence's IBF title. So, who knows? I know Danny don't want him. Danny stated, hey man, you know, he's 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 working on what he's working on. I'm working on what, I, what I'm working on. And I'm looking for bigger, bigger and better things. It doesn't look like Danny Garcia wants to fight him. And I hadn't heard Earl Spence or Terrence Crawford or anybody else calling out this young guy's name. Not that they're afraid, but he's probably just not relevant right now. What do they have to win or gain by fighting Boots? So I understand that. Now let's get to the main event, man. The main event. Charlo versus Castaño. Now the first fight was very, very competitive. Very, very close fight. Could have gone either way. Some say that Castaño was robbed. I, I don't dispute that or argue that possibly. But for some reason, my gut feeling is telling me that Charlo is going to come in and put a stamp on it. Um, he's always been good with his rematches. Um... Especially with um, Harrison. You know, I think he's going to come in. Is that who we fought? Or was, his, was that his older brother? Or bigger brother, excuse me, because they're twins. What, what did, um, okay. Got confused. Which Charlo fought? I think it's Jamel. I could be wrong. They're twins, man. And their names are so freaking close. I get confused. But either way, I think that Charlo is going to come in and really solidify this win. I don't know if he'll be able to stop Castaño, but, uh, you know, if he punches, you know, more than what he did in the first fight, you know, because he caught Castaño with some serious shots, like some some big banging shots, and, you know, he was still there. Um, 
I do think he landed the more significantly hard shots in that first fight. But Castaño's a monster. He's a beast. He didn't come in to lay down. So this fight, this fight regardless, is going to be very exciting. But I do see Charlo pulling away with a unanimous decision or possibly a late TKO stoppage. I mean, that's, that's you know, really pushing it. Because, like I said, Castaño, he's a champion for a reason. Um, looking forward to it. On Showtime tonight. More than likely, I'm going to be doing a live stream. And, um, you know, we got crossover sparring camp coming up. I want to say next week. You know, you got Pat Typhlusion. Typhlusion, excuse me. Coming from Boston. All the way from Boston, Massachusetts, baby. He really wants this. Just to fight in my backyard against the champ. Trade the Hillbilly Ingram. And I keep telling these guys, y'all have better been training. Because the day of the fight, that ring... It's going to lay it all out on the line. It's going to tell us everything we need to know about you guys, whether you were training, taking it serious, or whatever the case may be. But Crossover Sparring Camp, the 21st of this month, is going down. Listen, comment down below. Let me know what you think about these fights coming up tonight. And always respect all. Fear none, God bless. Until the next time, Real Talk Boxing. I'm up, and I'm out of here, baby. Cock it. Boom.